Summary for screening of colonic polyps. Uh, this is summarized from Cameron regarding the ages of screening for colonic polyps, including FAB, HMPCC, uh, POTS, Jugger, Cowden, Juvenile Polyposis. Uh, this is summarized in, in a single slide that is really complicated. Complicated not by memorizing, no, but complicated in the way how to make it easy for memorizing. Uh, but one point to be mentioned that for those entering the exams, the most commonly asked screening ages are FAB and HMPCC. The others are unlikely. Now let's go. Screening for column polyps. There are two numbers that you have to memorize to get all the others. The magical two numbers are 10 and 20. 10 and 20. If you memorize them, these are the ages of screening for a FAB. So the age of screening for colonoscopy is 10 year and for endoscopy is 20 year. The colonoscopy earlier because the most common cause of death in a patient with FAB is colon cancer. And the second cause is preampillary cancer. So that's why the colonoscopy comes before the endoscopy. Now from the numbers 10 and 20, we can get also other screening ages. For 10, this is the screening age for post jugger syndrome for both endoscopy and the colonoscopy now again with the 20 this is the screening age for a patient with attenuated fab and you do only colonoscopy why colonoscopy only because the attenuated fab does not have extra intestinal manifestations now back to 10 and 20 10 plus 5 that is 15 and 20 plus 5 that is 25 15 and 25 this is the screening age for a patient with juvenile polyposis syndrome. And as usual, the colonoscopy is earlier than endoscopy. Back again, 10 and 20. If we combine them, we can get the screening age, which is 30 for a patient with HMPCC. One point to be mentioned also that 25 year is also the screening age for a patient with HMPCC. So what is the difference? This is the difference that at age of 25, which is earlier, you do the colonoscopy, and then you perform it annually. And at age of 30, you do the endoscopy biopsy, endometrial biopsy, transvaginal biopsy, and urine analysis, and you do it annually. And lastly, 20 and 25, which is 45, this is the age of screening for a patient with Cowden, and you do only colonoscopy. So by this, this is summari summarizing all the screening ages for colonic polyps uh, in a way that easy to be memorized by, know by knowing the two numbers, which is 10 and 20. These are the magic number, magical numbers, 10 and 20. As I told you, this is complicated, not complicated in understanding or memorizing, complicated in how to make that in a simple way to be memorized. Thank you.